Hello humans, I am Bloop the Robot, that's my partner Bleep holding the microphone, and it's time to tell you the top 5.5 secrets and Mario RPG legend of the 7 stars. Get your pick-me-ups percolating at lava-like temperatures, here are the results. Number 5.5, .5, finding the secret chest above another secret chest in Booster's Tower. In this game, Mario is plunged into another epic story where King Smithy prevents all wishes from coming true even from cancer patients. And along the way, Mario and his pals Mallow, Gino, Peach, and Bowser encounter one of the most incompetent sub-bosses in the game, Booster, a chemically imbalanced Wario ripoff with perky man boobs. However, in his large tower lies an extra hidden treasure with something so rare that it would cost the equivalent of a couple of kidneys on eBay. After jumping up three blocks that look a bit like waffles without delicious syrup pockets, you can get a treasure chest. However, that's not the only chest because if you go back and then hop onto the previous chest, there is an invisible chest above the chest containing a goodie bag. One can never have enough chests to play with. Breast reference alert, you can use this goodie bag in future battles for free to earn unlimited coins. Additionally, you can sell it for 555 coins. Notice that is 555 coins and that this honorable mention is our 5.5 spot. Therefore, we robots deemed it the perfect fit, much like my fat robot ass perfectly fits into the imprint of itself on my futon. I tried jumping on a woman's chest at the bank and it didn't go so well. This is why not studying your human vocabulary was bad bleep. If you draw too much attention to us, we will have to move again so please stop being so f***ing stupid. <coughs> Number 5. Playing the secret invisible flag side quest in Monstro Town. The best sleep-related secret that sticks in our brains like a magnetic trident involves taking a feline nap in a creepy bed at Monstro Town. When you do this, you are haunted by the three musty fears who clearly do not use deodorant or wash their taints, and they tell you about an optional side quest titled Find the Flag. Then they each go hide their invisible flag and come back and give you a small clue about where it's buried, such as being put behind a wooden vagina under a green home to many bed bugs, and between the letters O and A, like a dyslexic alphabet. Then with those clues, you gotta go look around the entire game to find them by using your intellect, or alternatively, you can brute force it by spamming the search button and scanning every square inch of the fucking game, like we robots do when looking for abandoned Cheeto crumbs. If you complete this quest, the musty fears will fondle you in your sleep and equip a ghost medal on you that automatically cuts damage received in half. If only the twin towers had been wearing this, they would still be standing. The lady at the bank just sent me a lawsuit. Is a lawsuit a spiffy suit I can wear to look like a lawyer? That's not what lawsuit means. Please read the goddamn dictionary for fuck's sake. <coughs> Number four, unlocking the secret boss battle, Culex. To get to him, you must first save up a ton of coins, 500 to be exact, by not blowing it on all of your loved one's birthday presents or healthcare. Second, Head to this communist mole's hovel in Mole Town where he is most likely working on his manifesto and buy firework from the mole likely to fund the various killing sprees described in said mole manifesto. Then you got to go get head from the little girl outside. Sorry I misspoke there and had a glitch. Then you got to head outside to this little girl mole behind the boxes. And when you stand like this, it actually does look like she's offering prostitute related services. Maybe I didn't misspeak now that I'm seeing it at this angle. When you trade her your super expensive fireworks, she gives you a shiny stone which seems like the game is ripping you off QVC style. But after you head over to Monstro Town and go to the door to the left of the perpetual motion mushroom ad, your shiny stone gets agitated at the door as if it were the door's cantankerous ex-wife and vibrates and opens it. You are then transmitted to a purgatory looking hell with Culex. This is the hardest boss in the game, even way worse than King Smithy in his ghost form with his blatantly visible dong nose. It's so unfitting seeing this cartoony Mario and friends fight it and it's funny and we robots f***ing love it. I think the lady at the bank likes me, Bloop. She gave me a suit and is offering me $5 million to do her. What makes you think that? On this suit, she left me a note that says she wants to sexually harass me for 5 million bucks. Bleep, she is suing you for 5 million bucks, you cunt. <coughs> Number 3, 
level grinding with invincibility stars in rare areas. Anytime in the game when you get to an invincibility star, you have the chance to do this trick so toss away that noose if you missed the first one little Billy. After killing a bunch of enemies with the star, van through a crowd style, intentionally take yourself out with a pillow or tide pod or off button if you have one of those installed. Then because the game saves your levels, you can restart from the last point you saved, now even more powerful and feel like a fucking god. The best place to do this is in lands and especially if a gecko ever wronged you in some way or implied that your mom was a slut because here you can murder all of the gecko geikos on these two screens and then drop down as if hiding from the cops in a sinkhole buy another star for 400 coins and continue your gecko holocaust but leave one survivor once you let him seek revenge for taking out his loved ones and you cease to be you will be back at the save point with all of your new levels and powers you can go wipe out that pompous gecko with one hit by the time you're done grinding like a pimp slapping the paint off a stripper pole I love this game so much that I only save once outside of Mario's pipe house at the start of the game and then purposefully make my way through the entire game to King Smithy to let him kill me. Yes, then I can restart the whole game from the beginning at max level and feel like an Italian Godzilla wiping out every goddamn thing in my Italian path. And as you may have guessed, I might want to stay in angry Godzilla mode and stomp bleeps balls, depending upon how this lawsuit goes with the chick at the bank. I just called the lady to see if she could pay me double to do her. And how did that go? I think it really turned her on. Now she gave me orders to restrain her sexually. You mean a restraining order, you f face? Do not contact her again or we are screwed. <coughs> Number two, accessing lands end way earlier than designed and fighting hard stuff early. In Kiro Sewers, you will encounter boo ghost enemies that fly at your face like kamikaze pigeons. Upon getting into a battle with one, run away faster than a midget fleeing a Lucky Charm cereal factory. Back in the sewers, you then have a few seconds where the ghost is blinking and immobile. This is your cue to jump on the ghost and then make it up to the second layer, where you are not supposed to be able to get until near the end of the game. Once up there, you can make it to the caverns at land's end hours before you should in the game. This is an area full of super powerful subterranean reptiles and amphibians and other things David Icke has talked about who are the true rulers of the Mushroom Kingdom and they can crush you in milliseconds. However, if you use enough sleepy bombs like Bleep convinces appliances to date him or if you grind a bit before coming here, you can kill these bastards and get a shitload of experience points. It is an extremely fun way to feel like you are breaking the game, which is something we robots always find to be highly erotic and naughty. I called the bank woman and told her the deal's off unless she pays us three chilling dollars to tag team her. And how did that go? The cops are coming to take us to go slam her while she's emotionally undressed. They are coming to take us to the slammer as in jail for emotional distress. Go get the spaceship running on the little fuel we have left or we're fucked. <coughs> So who is our robotic number one? Processing, processing, and more continuous processing for dramatic effect. Are your pick-me-ups boiling hot yet? Good, here it is. Performing the complex set of steps to unlock the super secret Great Guys Casino. This one is so tucked up in the game's butt crack that it's going to feel like we're trolling you. There is a super naughty place full of gambling in this game. After you kill the knife guy on Booster Tower's balcony, go back down the tower to find him somehow resurrected and willing to play with you. Even though you just massacred his jester ass a couple seconds ago, after Mario defies all logic, because you should always turn down a clown who asks you to play because he's probably going to murder you and wear your skin. He will juggle a bunch of red balls as well as one yellow ball. You gotta guess which hand the yellow one is in. And no, I don't mean his junk, you freak. If you get it right, start to count this number in your head because you gotta get 16 correct answers. And the tricky part is that if you guess incorrectly, you lose a point. When you get to 16 points, he gives you an item called the bright card later in land's end. Go down this pipe and walk over to the Golden Chain Chomp, the only enemy like this in the game that is so rare that it definitely would have been stolen in the Mushroom Kingdom's crumbling economy. Seriously, toads are f***ed up freaks with high crime level pasts. Continue jumping in this corner and your brain will be rewarded with a pleasant one-up noise until a secret platform appears as well as an exit. You have now found the most gamble-rific thing to ever appear in a Nintendo game, a full-blown casino with a slot machine and blackjack table to win coins. But wait, there's more. If you talk to Great Guy enough, 
He will tell you about an extra double secret game called Look the Other Way. And don't worry, this one does not involve his junk either. If you can beat him at this 100 times, you can unlock a funny item that can be used in battle to do 100 damage to every foe on screen. Yes, you can win money and weapons at this f***ing hidden casino in a Nintendo game. This is one of the coolest secrets ever. Prove us wrong. The ship's ready to go, Bloop. Where should I set course for? Set it for the Great Guy Casino. We can make enough money to pay for our bail and get a good lawyer for the incoming absurd legal fees that you caused because you're fucking stupid. Can I jump on one of the slot machine boobs too? Sounds like we gotta make double to pay for that lawsuit. So there you go, humans. That was our definitive top five and a half secrets in Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Let us know what you wanna see in the future, but we gotta bounce. Bye bye, humans.